Hello everyone, so welcome to next tutorial tutorials and in this glorious little tutorial I am going to be teaching you how to do all the necessary and all the best necessary and essential settings for your Windows 7 or 8.1 PC and how to adjust those settings for an optimal PC performance and your PC is going to be so fast operating okay so we will get started so to begin with here we are in the control panel your PC may be Windows 7 or Windows 8.1 only but you can also try the settings with Windows 10 or Windows XP just to play around so first of all we'll begin from the system and security and you would turn off the Windows firewall and don't touch anything of this but you can go to system first of all and then go to device manager clicking here you'll find some of the essential things um, that is that you can check out the display adapters you have in I have Intel HD graphics and NVIDIA GeForce card but if you have some problems regarding this graphics card get some display drivers which are available on the internet okay now let's look at some advanced system settings and these are the best no settings that you can get in the performance options the visual effects and position scheduling of your PC is totally controlled in this window <laughs> be it that it's Windows 7 or Windows 8 so for the best performance you can click on adjust for best performance then you'll see that all the visual effects are disabled for the best appearance all are enabled and clicking on here the windows will choose what's best for your computer based on your system type your processor and your installed memory so it will clicking here it will just mean that you are letting windows to select what's best so according to this one the best is these visual effects must be enabled and these two will be disabled so this may vary from computers to computer another thing I will tell you that this list of visual effects may vary from Windows so in Windows 7 you can get more features but in Windows 8 only this so for the best performance give these settings let's click apply but if you click apply over here you'll face uh, many of the problems regarding visual effects you'll find that your computer has become very much ugly but your performance will be like this I'm going to a taskbar the taskbar is coming just you know in front of me and when I drag this there's only a black border line and you can see that the text are not clear so I always give it just for best appearance or the most vernal the most Mm, useful to me is let Windows choose what's best for my computer so I don't need this to actually so let's click apply and it will gonna apply for some minutes have a coke or something and you better not touch these things you can change your computer name according to your computer description as for my I've written extra trust PC and you better not touch these things okay now let's go to hardware and sound let's go to sound options okay so in the sound option <coughs> there is one main thing to be notified your sound card driver and your sound card will and may vary from all of your PCs they're so in the sound hardware you know drivers there's real tech high definition sound there's DTS sound plus there's high definition audio device but as for my PC it's high definition audio device I'm telling again and again your audio driver may vary from mine so please don't get freaked up so here it may be written real tech or it may be written DTS but as for me I have high definition audio device so go to your speaker properties in here 
go to levels and you better give it to 100% but it's all your opinion that how much volume you want to give but in hands and I will again tell you that the all of the advancements will vary from PC to PC so you may not get all the enhancements but I have bass boost so if you have a, a bass boost which supports you know if you have a home theater or if you have some 2.1 audio systems enable bass boost and go to settings set the frequency to your speakers frequency and uh, better give the boost level to 3 dB because it okay so after doing some sound options let's go to power options now in your PC according to your Windows versions this may vary so I have balanced which is recommended high performance and power saver these are the three common settings I will recommend you give high performance but I've already created my own custom power supply my own custom plan so this is ultimate power supply which is I have created go to plan settings and always give your turn off display after five minutes but this may vary on person to person it may vary on how much you want your monitor to be and put the sleep I recommend never and set the changes now let's go to appearance and personalization I will recommend you don't touch these of the settings so let's go here and we will straight go to display and don't click this box if you have it and you can if you want cal calibrate the color and in the resolution options depending on what sound uh, sorry what video card or video graphics driver you have this will vary but I will recommend you give 1280 into 720 pixels but you can also give the recommended settings okay so you know these are the best settings for your computer for an optimal performance and you will get some high performance so yep so thanks everyone if you have any interest in comments and apps leave them a comment below if you indeed helped click the like button the thumbs up button and subscribe for more so yep so if you indeed help click the like button so the until next time I'm gonna see you later and I will hope that you indeed helped with this video